So he's definitely been preparing for most of his life here. We have a catch weight bout at 80.5 kilograms. And you see Marc 11 years the elder. Both guys are tall guys. Byron weighed him at slightly more and records very similar. That being said, let's get this show on the road. Paul Marconier became a, a grappling national champion here in France. He had the chance to uh, train with uh, Benoit Saint-Denis in his uh, recent camp in uh, Bulgaria. Holding his own against uh, one of the top UFC stars. The matchup starts. This one has been switched to a catch weight. I think these uh, two agreed to fight in the welterweight division. I don't know what happened, but uh, it's, uh, both of them a little bit heavier than expected. Well, Marconia, he's used to fighting in higher divisions. This was supposed to be his welterweight debut. He's even competed as high as... Oh! Oh! oh, my God! Oh, what a right hand! Yeah, but he's, he's still alive. He's surviving, but... Uh, Bayram jumping into the action, trying to finish out the job very early in the first round. That right hand was nasty. The guy surviving. Oh, he's locking, uh -oh, up, uh -oh. locking up an arm bar. The left arm is in danger for uh, Bayram. Up kick, and he's back on his feet. Protect yourself at all times. There you go. Yeah, he's got to keep his hands up after taking a shot like that. And you can see Bayram, he's waiting for that shot. He felt it. He's going oh! back. He's back in the same place. He doesn't like to get hit. He almost turned around and offered his back, but no. Thought Byram. again. Byram is out for the kill here. Oh, oh, come on, my dude. Did he get dropped there? I, I, I don't know. I thought he, he got it straight flush to the face, but he went to the uh, takedown. Doesn't lead anywhere. Marconier has a... Iron chin because he's still in. Probably seeing double or triple. Yeah. The question is how many Byrams is he fighting right now? <laughs> I am surprised Whoa. that he is back on his feet after that initial drop. You were jumping uh, out of your chair. You thought it, this one was a knockout. <laughs> I did. I, I I think a lot of people did. The way that he that he collapsed, I mean, it looked like it was over. Lift your hand. Oh, this time he's collapsing again. Everybody can see it. I mean, why is, is this dude not putting his hands up? He's being hit like four or five times with the exact same shot. Oh, he's got Oh, my God! He's going to make him go to sleep! Oh, but he got no. a little overzealous. He didn't have a positioning lockdown. Oh, yeah, yeah. Marconi survives. Oh, Dancing on the mat. Oh, oh hey. another hip toss. <laughs> This is Dancing with the Stars. I mean, they're just uh, going all over the place. They visited this whole cage in every angle. Oh, there you go, right in front of us. Plenty of time with which to work for Byram. And let's see if he takes his time a little bit more now. Clearly, Mark Monnier someone that he's not going to put away easily. You might want to pick his shots a little bit more carefully. Nice elbow there off the break. Protect, protect your left cheek, please, my dude. Please. <laughs> you can see the confidence growing in Byram. Oh, that was a big <laughs> swing there from Marconier. That was a big miss. Look at that. Oh, did he again? Did he get dropped or did he? No, I don't know. Yeah, you're right. It's like earlier in the in the round. It's exactly the same thing happened. He's the one. He's the one hitting, and he's the one going down. Yeah, I'm not sure if it's a counter, if it's a slip, or what it is, but it's not good optics for him. Right. Oh! oh! And again, and again, and again! Um, but Marconier firing back. I mean, there is no this quit is in this guy. <laughs> and now he's the one pressing forward. <laughs> Please lift your hands. They ram. Waiting for the right moment. I am shocked that this fight has gone on for as long as it has. I mean, Byram has landed shots that would have put down an elephant. And not one, maybe like six or seven. Yeah. <laughs> Question is, how many extra lives does Marconier have after all that? Of course, those shots, they do add up. Even though he's looking like a, almost a horror movie villain, just uh, still going strong after being uh, shot in the head like 50 times. 
Yeah, it's like eat Jason. your heart out, Michael Myers, right? I was going to say Jason Voorhees, but it's uh, kind of the same. <laughs> the result's the same. Oh! He moved his head when he wasn't getting struck. <laughs> Marconi still oh. going forward. He should not lead with a kick like he did right before. And if he gets the knockout, that's going to be the biggest comeback ever. <laughs> I, I mean, I'll be, I, I will eat my hat with ketchup and <laughs> Now forget about the mustard. Dijon was last month. <laughs> this is pretty. <laughs> what a crazy fight. And it's almost is, like when Marconi gets, gets hit with those knockout shots, he doesn't get hurt. He gets mad. That's ridiculous. <laughs> I think Greg MMA has got to give him a little bit of advice maybe to you know, I don't know. Just protect your face a little bit more. Maybe that's a good idea. Uh, yes, hey. uh, some head movement, some striking <laughs> defense. That is definitely needed. Because, I mean, right now, this, this fight is like a monkey's favorite named meal. That being said, bananas. <laughs> <laughs> Let's check out that right hand. That was oh, probably the first one. You thought it was over. <laughs> but there was more to come. That right hand landed one time, two times, three times, four times, I don't know, seven or eight times during the round. Flush, no protection, just boom! Oh. Right, perfect positioning. But Marconi never went into another world, still defending himself. And the magic continues. Let's see if he's uh, still alive. No blood on the face of Marconi. Honestly, he looks kind of fresh. <laughs> Surprisingly so. Nice jab there from Byron. Light on his feet, picking his shots on the outside. There's a takedown nice. attempt from the former rugby all-star. Hands connected. All-star, I think you're exaggerating a little bit, Sebastian. Maybe not an all-star, but... Uh, well, let's say up and coming, up and coming, top prospect. <laughs> there you go. He was a prospect in rugby, like he is in a prospect in MMA now. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Defense, take down defense, holding up for Byron. It's crazy. I mean, he's the one actually going forward now. <laughs> and you see, he's fighting kind of like he's got a chip on his shoulder, right? Like he's he's. Irritated that that first round went the way that it did. But. He's an irritated zombie. Yeah. <laughs> but he's fighting very recklessly as well. He's leading with huge loopy yeah. shots that are easy for somebody like Byron to avoid. Yeah, having the style where you uh, move forward, you get hit a lot, but you're still going forward. It's very exciting for the crowd, but maybe not for the longevity of your career. Yeah, uh, his, his brain is not thinking of fresh fighting style. We almost got the take on the look. He might get position here. No, but Byron back to his feet. Oh, he hit the switch there, did Byron, but look at that a reversal attempt from Marconi. I mean, Byron has clearly been sharpening up his takedown defense. One wonders if perhaps ring rust is a bit of an issue for Mark Cornet. He's only had one fight since 2019. Mark drops down, but doesn't do anything with it. And I would like to see more activity from him in these positions. This is what he wants. He wanted to cut the distance, get this grappling here. And if he's yeah. not going to get the takedown, then it, oh. oh. What was that? That's an illegal move. Be careful. I mean, it just missed. Damn. <laughs> maybe shows that, yeah, oh. maybe shows that his mind is not 100% into it. He forgets the most basic uh, rule. I mean, some, some fighters have incredible muscle memory as well. I mean, Vervid Fighter is talking about, you know, they've basically gone a whole fight without really being there properly, cognitively. One wonders, is Mark Kone going on autopilot in a sense? It's possible. I mean, it hurts just looking at what he took in the first round. 
as you said, it, it, it could have uh, destroyed it, could have knocked out an elephant. Still moving forward. But he's got to do something, you know, because every time he even uh, grabs his opponent, as you said, he was uh, not active enough, not earning any points. And also, he's cutting the distance, leaving himself wide open for counters. Yep. Both when he both when he swings for a shot, but also when he tries entering. Every time, every time the right hand lands. Mikhail Bayram. Nice left, right, left, low kick. Just like in training. Oh, timing, baby. And again, Marconi eating these crazy shots that would have put a lot of fighters down. I think Bayram has uh, visualized everything that uh, Marconi has to offer. That's why he can time all of his shots. He's not wasting any uh, movement, uh, Bayram. And if you look at that, that was you know a, a telegraphed strike there for Marconi. Oof. His uppercut might be his best strike so far. 25 seconds now to go. Look at that, Byron ducks under. Nope, refusing to go down. Yeah, he's not going to get the takedown from this position, that's for sure. Now he, no. Nope. And neither fighter having a whole lot of takedown success. Yeah, this one has been, uh, you're right, almost uh, all stand up, all boxing. So, if you score the first round, it was going to be a 10-8 round, right? Minimum. Yeah, I mean. Minimum. The, the way that, that Marconi got dropped, uh, yeah, I'd pick Several that. times. So, he was inches away, milliseconds away from being stopped. The second round with Bayram still dominating, of course, with less uh, oomph and less uh, yeah, I'd say clean th shots. Sorry, clean shots, but in, still, he's still in the lead, and uh, Marconi is still alive. Nobody really knows how, but he's still here. I mean, I want, I would like to know what uh, Marconi's chin is made out of, and uh, and why uh, scientists have not discovered that element earlier, because watched, clearly it is a solid material. Have you watched Terminator 2? I have. Okay, so maybe, <laughs> maybe you have. Uh, Are you saying that Marconi was sent here from the future? <laughs> I think so, from the city of Anglais, or <laughs> Anglet. <laughs> now we're going to be mad at you. <laughs> I do it as a joke. A lot of respect. Major props to the Anglet people. Okay, it's the last five minutes of this one. Catch weight battle in the 81 kilo weight class. Nice little shot to the body there from Byron. That's what I like that he's mixing up things up now. He's going more to the body, which will open up some of those head strikes as well. Not that he's having issues finding the head strikes, but it might become even easier. All the wins of Marconi's career came via finish. Four KOs, two submissions. Maybe he's uh, waiting for the last second to get another one. Even though he's being used as a human punching bag tonight. Still no blood, still no, no injury, just a little bit red in some parts of the body. And he, he's moving well for yeah. somebody who's eating. Oh, now there's a takedown. <laughs> <laughs> he should throw a knee. He should think about throwing a knee now, Marconi. He's got a perfect position to do so. When it was illegal earlier, he did it. Now that he had the opportunity to do it, he forgot to do to do it. So. Marconi must be a very frustrating fighter to coach. <laughs> <laughs> More haymakers being thrown here by Byron. Speaking of frustration, can you imagine the frustration for oh. Bayram? He cannot put him down, and now he's the one going down on that takedown from Marconi. And I thought I saw him take a big, deep breath just before that happened. One starts to wonder, did Byron punch himself out in trying to get the finish? Because now, you see, he both shoulders flat on the ground, which you yeah. should never have if you're in a defensive position. 
I don't think it would have happened in the first and second round, but now third round, he's starting to get a little bit tired. Chance of Mikael raining down here. Look at that. Paul Marconi trying to uh, just slip his right leg. He might go for a sword web stretch, no, abandons it. Nice. Come on, continue to pick him apart. Yeah, it looked like a kick to the cup to me. Yeah, you're right, you're right, you're right. <laughs> but honestly, folks, knockout shots aren't gonna bother him. I don't think a kick to the cup will leave him. Every part of his body is made of steel. Yeah. Ooh. Lands a right hand. Oh, Marconi coming on strong here. Mikael Bayram needs the support from the crowd here. From Poitiers. And one wonders if perhaps Bayram is demoralized. Oh, whoa! Combination there from Marconi. Talked about the frustration. Of course he's frustrated. Can you imagine? I mean, he's thrown everything but the kitchen sink at Marconi, and it hasn't done enough to make him take a step back. You got Greg MMA on the side of his screen on the right, still believing that Marconi can do the impossible and uh, finalized his comeback. Uh oh. Come on, go back with the dirty boxing. And I think that Marconi, he thrives and he's dirty, ugly positions in these crazy exchanges. Byram, he's got to keep it technical. He doesn't want to, you know, lose a fight You're when right. he's so close to, to, to winning it. 70 seconds. Look at that. You did everything you could, and you still got this dude just walking with that emotionless. Nice timing. In front of you, just a forbidding you to do anything. You cannot put him down. You cannot take him down. You can't do anything. Paul Marconi, invincible machine. Probably gonna lose on points if that continues, but uh, what do you need to do oh, to put him out? A bit of a tactical error there. He went for a hip toss, but you know, he should be thinking about getting out of the clinch position, not not capitalizing with grappling. 30 seconds. If Marconi fakes a hook and then goes for a knee, he could catch Byron dipping down. Tell him. <laughs> My French isn't good enough for that. <laughs> oh, another big right hand. Come on, come on, one more for the good guys. And Marconi <laughs> wants more. He's actually calling Bayram. Oh, and the hit the right hand and a knee. You were waiting for the knee. Just came Ooh. at the last second. These guys, they went the distance. This dude's insane. What a fight. What in the blue hell happened? That was all kinds of crazy. Mikhail Bayram. And I'm sure his... Uh, Neurologist will never forget also that. <laughs> or forgive him for that matter. <laughs> what a fight. Uh, amazing stuff. So, uh, he looks fresh. He looks more yeah. fresh than Byram does right now. I'm ready for, uh, he's ready for round number four. Oh my goodness. Wait, wait, wait. We got a decision. Unfortunately, we're not going to get the, the, num the exact numbers. That would be very interesting. Le vainqueur de cette rencontre par décision unanime. Unanimous. Juge. Le Croix Blanc, Mikhail Yeah, no surprise here, Mikhail Bayram. Unanimous decision win against the Paul Marconi tonight. He just uh, started so strong. Oh. Mikhail. Mikhail is going to be interviewed. En train de s'apprêter pour les caméras d'RMC Sport. Le t-shirt, ça y est, Michael, une euh, première rencontre euh, exceptionnelle. Peut-être comme nous, vous vous êtes dit que ça n'allait pas forcément euh, aller au bout. You ça a été euh, it was gonna be brutal dès le départ. Brutal. Euh, J'ai un peu trop mangé, donc euh, <laughs> je galère à parler. I think uh, I took too many uh, shots, so I got uh, hard, It's a hard time for me to talk. But of course, I want to thank Poitiers. 
C'était quoi la question déjà What was your question I forgot. Le premier round était exceptionnel, on pensait que ça allait s'arrêter rapidement. Le premier round était amazing, on pensait que ça allait être court, mais ça a duré un long temps. Axel Nobu à la télé, j'ai fait wow. I was watching Axel Nobu on TV and I, Ce mec -là, là, and I said, wow, un produit. this dude is a real, Ensuite, a fait une grosse, grosse, grosse is a real killer. Pour tout le monde comme pour moi, Mohamed a gagné. And then I saw my buddy Mohamed, Ça allait dans un sens. who I think won the fight. But And also myself, I had a very tough uh, opponent. Après, uh, Even though I dropped him uh, three or four or five times, he still got up. I would also like to, to tell you a short story. Even though I'm hijacking the TV show. Et moi qui m'a suivi au, au MMA, qui est un super combattant. Et je viens du basket. Et là, j'ai connu un coach qui s'appelle, faites du bruit s'il vous plaît, Johan Ruel. I met my coach, Johan Ruel, who's a very important man in my, côtés, in my life and my career. J'aimerais que tu viennes à mes côtés. Il m'a, c'est lui qui m'a formé. He's the man who uh, created me. Et look at the results today, result today, it's because of him. Ça pète. If I can be explosive in the, in the cage, it's because of him. So of course I want to give him the mic. I'm not very good in front of the camera, but uh, thanks everyone. Pour vos encouragements, merci pour l'investissement auprès des athlètes de Poitiers. Thanks a lot for encouraging all the Poitiers athletes all year long. It's a real honor to be here.